Okay, let's have a little discussion about the difficulty of the 10A and the 12A. I'm really sorry, I know some viewers don't want me to discuss what some of the things I'm about to mention, but unfortunately the vast majority of my viewers are already well aware there was a little bit of a leak in the test. You might have seen me discuss it in the other video that came out just prior to the contest. So I understand for the audience who didn't want their kids to know, but they're gonna find out eventually. I apologize for that. I, I'm actually gonna say something here that I think will help to uh, quantify the effects of that, of that nature. So I see in various forums, Discord server, emails, did you know it was leaked? Did you know this? And how much of an effect do you think it's going to have? And currently we're getting splody heads in these forums as people discuss uh, on back channels or privately. Look at these things. If you go to maa.edvistas.com, you're going to see the current stats because they get uploaded in real time as it, as it updates. Um, currently at the time of this filming, which is 4 a.m. Pacific time on Thursday, uh, I don't know, know the date, the 9th, I guess. So Thursday the 9th, this is the numbers right now, your DHR 135. And so the students who were analyzing this and getting anxious and look at DHR, look last year, it was only 120. Oh my gosh, 2.5%, the scores are so inflated. And so you go down here and you're like, everything, look at the perfect scores. Last year there was only four, we're already up to 41 and they haven't even recorded everything yet. Oh my gosh, it's confirmation that our worst suspicions have come to fruition. Really? Let's see what's really going on here. If we go over to the 12A before we do that, the 12A, you're gonna see that the DHR is currently at 133.5, that's top 1%. They don't show top 2.5% uh, on there, uh, or maybe they did, I don't know. This was like maybe top 5%, I think it's on there actually now, yeah. And this is top 5% on the Ed Vistas website where you can find their new stats. Their old stats pre-2022 are on the MAA statistics page, the old one. So uh, you've got 108 as the top 5%, 72, 27 perfect scores, average score of 60.7, and this many students have taken it as of 4 a.m. Okay, so let's think about this. Is there really, really this big, huge jump compared to 2022, and you see all these increases and in things except for the top 25% amount? Or is there something else going on? Let's talk about that something else. I found, and I'm sorry to say it, I'm not saying that the test was easy for everyone. I only take the 10A because more students take the 10A than the 12A, and I want a feel for what, what the difficulty was like for those students. I do the 12A also, but I obviously can't time it because I've seen 10 of the questions. There were 10 questions the same on both tests. And so it's not gonna be a realistic barometer with the same time frame. I'm not timing every question when I take the 10A. So right now I, I have gotten on this test, I got 24 out of 25. I have confirmed that 17 of them are correct. I haven't had a chance to confirm the others with various peers that we discuss on back channels. And so at, as that score, 145.5, okay, so I'm a math teacher, but I don't usually score that high. Last year I was in the 120s on the 10. And so considering that I got that score, and if you look at my time, I write down my time at the five minute mark, the 10 minute mark, and the 15 minute mark. At the five minute mark on the 10A, I was at four minutes and 32 seconds. At the 10 minute, or the 10 question mark rather, at the 10 question mark after I'd answered one through 10, I'd only used 14 minutes, an average of 1.4 minutes per question. When I got through 15, I'd only used 29 minutes, less than two minutes per question. So I now had, at that point, with 29 minutes used, I had uh, you know, 45 minutes left to answer the final 10 if I was able to do so. I got nine of them in that time. Okay, so if I did that well, maybe what's going on here is that it's just not as hard as it was last year. And we'll talk about why that might be in a moment. The last time that I was able to score perfect or close to perfect was 2017 10B. Let's look at its stats off of the MAA statistics page and compare. 
136.5, 135, pretty close. 124.5, the Amy floor was a 120. That was the last time we had a 120 floor for the contest on the 10. The 109.5 was the top 5%, uh, but they put um, HR on a different page. The Amy floor historical page said 120. I pulled this number off of one of the stats pages where you get a grade report with percentile. You go over to the far right and you look for the inclusive percent and below. So about 109.5, an exact match. I'm not sure if honor roll was calculated the same way then as it is now. A lot of things have changed over time, so the stats might not be directly comparable, but this was the 109.5 was, uh, you know, at least 5% had got this score and less than 5% had gotten a 111. Um, and so then when you go here, uh, and it might be off. Maybe it was the 111. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if I'm reading the stats exactly right. I'm tired. It's 4 a.m. Okay, there were 65 perfect scores. Is it comparable? Well, oh my gosh, it's the end of the world. 41 <gasps> perfect scores. Well, there were 65 back then. Okay, and the total students who took the 10B back then was 25,919, roughly 26,000 participants. Last year on the 10A, this is 10A, there was 27,000 participants, and this is not a final number. It's probably gonna update more a little bit over the next day or two. I don't know the exact way that they're calculating all the stats. I'm not sure if everybody does it online. I'm not sure if some people are doing paper copies they mail in. I don't know. I haven't had a chance to follow up on all of that information. When we go over to the 12A and compare, very comparable across the board, okay? Uh, the floor in 2017 was a 100.5, even though the top 5% was 105. That was still back at a time, I believe, when they didn't let the floor get above 120 on the 10 and 100.5 for the 12. So it, it no longer has that rule in the official instructions, but it used to be there a long time ago. I don't know when they exactly they changed it. Feel free to modify anything I'm saying in comments if you have more specific information. It's not that important to get it exactly right just to make a video at 4 a.m. to explain that what really happened, okay, did it, was there a massive you know, amount of people who gained a huge unfair benefit? Not probably that likely, okay? Of the number of people who were able to potentially see the test in advance and do it in advance, let's say if it was potentially who were aware it even existed, it's probably less than a thousand people out of this 21,000. And of those, honestly, a large majority, ask yourself, ask yourself, if you knew that you could access the test in advance, would you do it? I know some people will, but do you really think all of your peers and you, if you really ask yourself, would you really want to do that? The answer is probably no. I know everybody in my Discord server would not do that. Okay, uh, and so the people who had talked about it or discussed it in various servers and things, most of these people want to succeed by their own merit, not by some cheat. Are there people who will? Yeah, I don't think the number was that high and I don't think it had a major effect. Do we know exactly what kind of effect it had? No, obviously everything is speculation. We don't have exact data. We don't have a way to view every single human in the world who was going to participate and exactly what they were doing at all times, okay? So I, I think that all of the concern, the fear, anxiety, it's more, it's more that the test got easier. Now, now that we understand it probably got easier and it definitely was easier. And I'm not saying it was easy for you or that you should have had a higher score. I'm saying it was easier than last year. The test is still challenging. There's still places to make mistakes and fall into traps. Let's talk about why that might have happened. I got a direct message on my Discord server um, about a week ago asking me, what effect do you think the new admin at MAA or the committee or whatever will have on the contest? Will it make it easier or will it make it harder? I didn't even know there was a new admin. I don't actually follow the uh, MAA Weekly Times and I don't know every single data point that you guys might be aware of. Apparently there's a new admin. Is that confirmed? I have not confirmed it. It was asked to me in a comment. Did that person confirm it? I don't know. 
If you would like to confirm it in the comments by telling where it was announced that they have a new committee or a new group of people making the test or new people in charge, I don't know all that information. I work full time beyond what I do on this channel, more than full time. I don't have time to chase down every rumor and check it out. So perhaps there was a new admin. In addition to that, um, the MAA uh, had uh, objectives. They have objectives, right, that they're trying to achieve. And their old objectives, and again, this is unconfirmed. It was told to me by someone of repute. I assign it a probability percentage value of being correct as pretty high. Probably above 90%, somebody who knew what they were talking about told them, and maybe this is confirmed in a blog or a, a post on their website or a forum by somebody of greater uh, knowledge than I would have, that they were trying to get more separation at the top. That's why the tests were getting more difficult. They were trying to achieve more separation in the top 1%, top 5%. Because when you have the top 1% so high, right, at 136.5, amongst that top 1%, who has the better problem solving skill? Well, we don't know. How can we solve that problem? Make the test more difficult. And if you make the test more difficult, then what happens is your top 5% has got 50 points within which to work. And those 50 points are going to show a lot more separation between these students of very, 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 very high ability. And that information can be very valuable for people trying to make a team of, of mop campers and IMO team and things like that. I don't know exactly what they do with the data or how they quantify it. Someone's channel or uh, their newsletter that you might check out who might have discussed this at length is Evan Chen. You can find his channel link down in my channels. He's going to be down there much, much more knowledgeable than me about the exact ways and criteria these things happen. I wouldn't pester him. Don't just bother him, probably. He's got things to do too. But if you read through his newsletters, perhaps you'll find a post where he discusses the process or the objectives. Maybe he doesn't. I'm speculating again. I'm just talking about people who would possibly have more information than me. You can go search some forums. You can do your own research to see if you can confirm these things. If you've already done this research, again, in any of these topics, and you would like to modify what I'm saying or point people in the right direction in the comments, leave one, and that would be very helpful to them. So if there is a new admin, unconfirmed, and there was an old admin with old objectives, every decision that you make has pros and cons. There are benefits, and there's things that maybe don't work out as well. One of the things we've been seeing over time is participation in the contest has been dropping. So I am told by somebody who wrote one of the AOPS books that the participation back in the 80s or 90s was more than 200,000. I, I heard even, I think a number like 500,000, but don't quote me on that. That was in the AHSME, American High School Mathematics Examination. I don't know if it was exactly that number. Maybe it was 300,000 or 400. It was a gigantic number. Let's put it that way. And so if that many people participated and now where are we at? If you take the total pool of people who take the 10A, 10B, 12A, 12B, and you add them all up, I don't know if you're necessarily even breaking 100,000 anymore. Maybe you're breaking, you get to 150,000 tops, let's say. Okay, so the participation's gone down. Go back to 2012 on the stats page. I believe you had around 65,000, 70,000 participants in the 10A, and last year we're down to, it's cut in half. Maybe it was 48,000. Again, I'm pulling these numbers from memory. It's four o'clock in the morning. I don't remember the exact numbers. Take everything I say on those numbers with the grain of salt. All I know, it was way, way higher before. And so there's all this talk in the community about the prestige of qualifying for Amy and they're taking a higher percent. Yeah, but they're still taking about the same number of Amy participants as they used to get X number of years ago. And so even though they're taking a higher percent, why? Because they have to, because much less students are participating. If we're not getting more students to take Amy, if you're not, if you're not qualifying for Amy, are you preparing for it? And if you're not preparing for it, are you going to score well? And if you're not going to score well, how can we make our future IMO team? How can we make the mop camp? How can we cultivate this ability level unless we let in a requisite number of students? But since participation went down, there's only one solution. The percentage they take must go up. And so that's why you're seeing those kinds of effects as well. It is not less prestigious. There is 35 million some odd students eligible to take 
the AMCs in America and you're in the top 7,000 or so, it's still the top 0.0001% or something like that. It's a ridiculously uh, a low percentage of students across the nation. Yeah, is it a percentage of test takers? But don't forget, people who are good at math tend to take the contest. People who love math tend to take the contest. So you're talking about, it's kind of self-selecting, right? Most students who love math aren't gonna be like, yeah, I don't wanna do that. I mean, it's a fun thing to do, right? So maybe, maybe the new administration would like to get participation to go back up again. Do they? I don't know, I'm not in their meeting. All of these things you should assign a probability percentage to in your own mind, based on your own wits and your own reasoning. And then I would not latch on to it. This is definitively true because the beauty of math, James said it. No, don't do that, okay? Don't put that on me. I'm giving you ideas about what might be happening. You'll need to do additional research from it to your heart's content to determine the validity of these ideas. And maybe we'll never know. Maybe that's private data from their meetings and their committee meetings that they've had about what their objectives are. I don't know that they state their objectives publicly. So I was also told that the tests are made one, two, three years in advance. Again, I don't know the exact amount of years they make them in advance, and I don't know who I would even go to to confirm that information. Go check on research on channels and forums and such like that, okay? But let's say that they're made two years in advance. Was there anything that happened two years ago, three years ago, any kind of big events in the world that might have affected the quality of education in the United States and around the world? Like say a virus or something, right? Yeah, so that caused a lot of effects in the educational ability and access that many students had across the nation. If you watch my So You Wanna Start a Math Club video that came out, I think last year, and I, I wanna make a part two to it, but I haven't had time. If you watch that, I talked about how the scores for English and math are the lowest in history on many of these nationwide standardized metrics. Okay, and so why did that happen? The pandemic shutdown of the schools. Okay, that had an effect. And so as you take these students that had less access to resources, they have diminished educational output and it's a ripple effect. The people who make the contest are pretty smart. They're probably aware of those kinds of effects. And maybe, this is, this is again speculating, maybe they decided to try to mitigate some of that by lowering the difficulty again. Does there have to be one reason only why they did it? No, there could be many, it could be multifaceted, and we would have to be a fly on the wall in their meeting to know what they're doing unless they're going to put out a statement. And since they haven't, your guess is, you know, just a guess. And that's kind of what we're saying here. I wouldn't latch on to anything I'm saying as definitive. It's just possibilities, okay? So uh, that's about it for that. What is my guess on the floor for both contests? I take the 10, like I said, under time conditions so I can get a rough idea. Um, they're taking a higher percent, even though it shows this now on top 5% here. Lately, they're taking more than the top 5%. So you're probably looking at an Amy floor back above 100 is my guess, be somewhere in this range. I don't know the exact amount I would put it at because now it's a lot harder to tell with the participation lower you know, I can't say exactly what it would be. This is about what I would have predicted the top 5% to be, to be honest. Um, and so next on the 12A, the Amy floor guess, I'm thinking 90 or above, but maybe not. Maybe it's 87. Last year I was off by like 4.5 points on one of them or something, or 1.5, 3 points, stuff like that. So I don't know. You can talk with your friends and, and try and figure out what you think it's going to be when they make their announcement about what that is. That's all I've got for the difficulty. Main point, TL, TLDR, it got easier. It wasn't cheating and whatever leak test and all of that kind of stuff that are making these numbers go up. Did it have some effect? I'm sure it did. Can we quantify that effect? No, we can't. Should we get upset and angry and frustrated? What good is it gonna do you? <laughs> really, why are we still thinking about that? Start preparing for the 10 and 12 B. That is the best advice that I can give you. And I've got to get back to filming solutions at this time. It's about 5 a.m. now or 4.30 or something like that. It's late. I'm going to get going. You have a great one.